Hi family, you know it is day 21 and I am in the kitchen. I'm about to get my bread ready. We're about to start work through the bread because I got some sourdough and it's about to go down. But hey, let's sit down and talk about eating and drinking at the same time and also some other stuff I've learned over my fast. So be sure to tune in to this episode of the Daily Dose. Peace. Told y'all to stop messing with me, didn't I? Didn't I? Now I had to pull out my African knife. This is a blade that I got when I went to Ghana. I brought, brought many of them. I also got some machetes and stuff, but I just found this one. I'm just happy. So happy. Right? Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Oh, uh, so you see Gina G trying to get on camera, but it is what it is. All right. Oh, man, I'm burping. Sitting up here looking at this water. I got to get this water out of my sight. I got my books. Some of the books I'm going to share. We will run through. All right, so the question today is, to eat and uh, to eat and um, drink at the same time. Is it good for you or not? Alright, so let's look at some of the research that we can find on the internet. Now, what you're in the background is Gina going over her video from um, yesterday, we made a video yesterday. I'm trying to get this done so I can get get in the kitchen and get started uh, making this bread. So I'm gonna let her finish her thing. But I need to mark down on my sheet. It is day 20. Family, we have fasted for 20 days, and the thing I'm getting, I want people to understand that is if I can do 21 days, three of which with absolutely nothing, right? You could do a day, you could do three days, you could do five days, right? For your health, right? I'm totally reset, I'm totally resetting my body, right? Totally resetting, and I'm like, boom, I better take it where I want to now. All right, so let's go and look at some of this research here. To eat or to eat and drink or not to eat and drink. All right. This is from an article called Collective Evolution. Is drinking water while eating good for you? Man. 
Is it beneficial to drink while you eat? It seems there are a few schools of thought when it comes to drinking while eating, and although, although there may not necessarily be one right way, it is clear that some things there are some things to avoid. Our bodies perform a number of processes while eating and digesting, so it's important to understand and consider each while determining if drinking while eating is best for us. Our mouths create saliva while eating as it contains digestive enzymes to help break down food. These enzymes are very important in creating a healthy digestive process. So for those that don't know, the spit in your mouth, the saliva, right? that comes up when you eat and it helps that starts between your teeth squishing the food and and the saliva making the food wet that is the beginning of the digestive process all right our stomach contains gastric juices that aid in digestion and are instrumental in killing any bacteria we might consume in the food we eat it's important these juices function properly as they help break down and allow the stomach allow the stomach to contract and pulverize food into a state that can be pushed to the small intestines. The liver is also important as once nutrients are taken from the blood, from the food we eat, they are sent through the bloodstream to the liver. From there, the liver distributes the nutrients to different areas of the body. It determines what to keep for later and what to utilize right away. The liver requires an ample amount of water to function and to do its job properly. To drink or not to drink? To drink or not to drink? The main area of debate is whether or not to drink water during a meal is harmful or beneficial to the digestive process. There's no doubting the fact that drinking too much water during meals can interfere with the natural necessary levels of bile and stomach acid. This will slow, digest, this slow the digestion process and reduce the body's ability to produce enough digestive enzyme to digest food properly. Without proper digestion, a buildup of toxic waste can occur no matter what you are eating. We can apply the same principles when drinking or when thinking about other beverages we might consume during a meal. In the case of alcoholic drinks and acidic beverages like soda, they tend to dry up the saliva. They tend to dry up the saliva in your glands. Or dry up the saliva your glands have produced, making it even more difficult to properly digest food. Drinking water on or other beverages while they are cold also slows down digestion and keep creating cramping in some individuals. It is clear that drinking water before and after you eat aids the digestive process. The general consensus on this is that drinking water about 30 minutes before you eat will help keep the body hydrated which results in optimal digestion for the liver. This is also important as overall body hydration aids in optimal liver performance. Drinking water about 30 minutes after can also assist in hydrating the body through the latter parts of digestion and replenish the lost liquids from digestions. It is important to note that drinking water during a meal will be more beneficial than not drinking while eating. If you are not properly hydrated beforehand, Eating while dehydrated can cause the body to have a very tough time digesting food. The other side of the coin, God, I'm confused, right? I mean, I, you know, I read it. I thought I was a pretty good reader. I'm kind of confused, right? But because this is one of the issues with the new form of thought, right? Because, you know, we got to be politically correct. Right, you don't ever want to say motherfuckers just wrong, right? What I was looking for is, is is the shit good or not? Well, you, on one hand, it's good. On the other hand, you know, let's get through all this shit, and then we're gonna talk. It is also important to mention that according to Michael F. Pico, M.D., and the Mayo Clinic, there's no concerns 
is there's no concern that water will dilate the digestive juices or interfere with digestion. In fact, drinking water during or after a meal actually aids digestion. Water and other liquids help break down food so that your body can absorb the nutrients. Water also softens stew, which helps prevent constipation. While they do not make any mention of temperature or amount of water, and don't reference their statement, it is clear they feel drinking while eating is generally okay. That's the Mayo Clinic. Now we're going to get into that. Tips. Based on the information presented when thinking about how to approach eating meals yourself, there are several tips we can apply. It appears most beneficial to stay hydrated throughout the day and if you must drink while you eat, avoid drinking too much, as well as alcohol and acidic drinks. Drink warm water and drink it sparingly. A small glass will likely not interfere with digestion and by adding a dash of apple cider vinegar or lemon, you can aid in the digestive process further. If you can, you might want to try drinking 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after a meal with no drinking during. See how you feel. If it works for you, then stick with it with what works. If not, adjust accordingly. Listening to and listening to and becoming more conscious of your body and body awareness is a great step to taking to take when thinking about new foods and how you treat your body. Sometimes going with what the body feels and wants is more important than staying rigid to information. Things change, the body changes, flow with it, listen to your body. All right. Family, this is important, right? Now, we know water dilutes. If I had a if I take this bottle of oxy water and I put and I pour this water into the oxy water. I am going to dilute the oxy water. And if I pour more water in here, I will eventually dilute the oxy water to a standpoint to where there will be more water than oxy water. So now let's say that this oxy water is the digestive, digestive juices in the mouth. If I'm drinking too much water, I will dilute this and eventually turn it to water. Now, what I am suggesting, and I'm not an expert by any, by any means, but I do have common sense. I am guilty of drinking and eating at the same time. One of my great joys is being able to sit down with a nice drink and eat and drink. But now, what I am suggesting for the fam, right, and I'm going to start practicing myself, is to drink the 15 to 30 minutes before you eat and to drink 30, 15 to 30 minutes after you eat. Why? Because we want to start optimizing. Listen to me. We want to start optimizing our body's digestive process. Since we've been studying the microbiome, we know, we know that our body needs certain things. So we need to allow our body to extract those things from the food that we consume. Right? Now if you consume it junk, drink and eat what, you know what I'm saying, how you want. If it's junk, do it, do it. You know what I'm saying? But if you eating quality food, right, or you give a damn about your longevity, or you give a damn about your thinking, your ability to think, or you give a damn about your second brain and its ability to think, then allow the digestive process to carry on. Now, if you are drinking water, as you are supposed to be doing throughout the day, because we talked about the relation to a lot of these diseases and dehydration as well. If you are drinking on a regular basis, you don't have to worry at all, right, about eating and drinking and not having enough fluid already in your body. So, I'm suggesting 15 to 30 minutes before you drink. Like tomorrow, I'm starting off my fast. I'm breaking my fast. I'm drinking some water. Then I'm going to get me, a, if I got any lemon lime ambrosia left, it's going to be chilled and waiting for me. Y'all going to see me sip on that. Then I'm going to pull out my fermented foods. Pull out the bread. 
pull out, you know what I'm saying, all, and I'm going to take a little sample of all of it because I'm, I'm not, not going to be able to eat a whole lot. And I'm going to have my miso soup ready, right, so that I can, my miso soup and my seaweed, I'm going to have it all there so that I can, can have it. But I'm going to drink 15 to 30 minutes before that. So that I could get it, and then after that's done, and y'all gone, right? And I'm done doing doing the video. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna drink me some more. 15 to 30 minutes after I eat, and I'm gonna start making that part of my system, part of my systematic process of life, right? Life giving principles, right? Now, so. I was going to share some stuff with you out these books, but I'm not going to share the stuff out the books this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share, I'm going I'm to say the books for tomorrow, right? I'm going to keep this one short. Believe it or not, we have under 30 minutes, right? And I'm just going to say, fam, we don't need to be drinking and eating at the same time. And we need to get our kids away from that. And I, it's going to be hard for me and my kids. Now I could do it, but my kids, shit, man. Uh, you, that's gonna be hard. That's a job right there. We gonna, you know, but once I start making sense to them, it, it'll work. All right, but hey, this brother I tell him, I'm saying, I wish you peace, power, and joy, and I pray in a hundred years, and I pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are, and I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jammy Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.